of being part of Brave New Productions, I think I kind of experienced how the creativity of that production team uh, is just all about the artistry behind what they're doing. It has nothing to do with the, the sponsors or corporate uh, agendas or trying to make it uh, the most lucrative production company. Or I think even the success of the company is not based on how what people think of it or how many people come to the show. I think for Brave New Productions, it's about the show that they give and they put out and they put on stage and the friendships and the memories that are created. I think that is what artistry and um, creativity should be about. Maybe she got lost. Yeah. Oh, that way. Okay. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> what? No, this is um, this is the biggest, most challenging thing we've ever done, and every single person on the team is faced with challenges that they are meeting and exceeding the task at hand, and that's what I think this is going to be easily the best thing we've ever done. Couldn't be more proud. How did you become involved in the project? I became involved in the project when Donald said, read this, this is what we're doing next. And I said, okay, I'll read it. And I read it, and I sat there for about 20 minutes and did the same thing. And then I texted him and said, we're doing this, we got this. And he said, yeah, we got it, I bought the rights. And I said, but are we, really? We can do this. This is something we're allowed to do. And I was surprised, and I had that reaction because the script is amazing, the story is amazing. It's clear and it's complicated at the exact same time. And you think one of the larger, more well-funded theatre companies in the city would want to do it first, but we got our hands in it first and it completely shocked me. There are so many challenging things that we're doing with the show. There's live singing. There's intimate moments that we've never brought on stage before. Um, there's dancing. Not modern dancing, but there's also modern dancing. And live music. Live music, that's insane. We're working in a field that we've never done anything in before. I can, I can handle acting, I can handle movement. Dance is a little scary, but music is a world that I know nothing about. It was, it was a conversation that I've never had. It was challenges that I never even knew were there. But luckily, people in the city are very talented, so all you have to do is sort of put it out there that you need this, and someone, the right person, landed in our laps. Uh, What's your name and what are you doing in the show? Oh, are you recording this like a video? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, my name's Ian. I'm the piano player. Yeah. Or the, the whole backbone of the entire operation. Pretty much. I mean, that's, let's Pretty be much. honest here. Yeah. yeah. That's, I think, oh. Crazy oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just threw something at your head. <laughs> That was good. That How do you good. feel about that? I'm gonna How throw... Uh, this show is, is in a theater that's probably the largest theater that we've ever been in. Um, it's a really beautiful space that we really would like to uh, show off as much as possible. So this is our first challenge is how can we bring people into this beautiful space and inspire them as much as we've been inspired by the space. Come out and don't be afraid of a new venue. Uh, this one is a great one and it'll, it will become part of Montreal's theatre life on a regular basis because it's super well equipped. Yeah, they're very great managers who run it and uh, I think you'll like it. You will like it. This play is also really touching. Everyone is amazing in this play. It is so humbling and incredible for me to just... I, I get teary-eyed constantly. The cast doesn't know this because I step further back. But I am watching people I've worked with now for years be the absolute best they've ever been, and it's extremely moving.